Radio's media bill this one as a battle of quarterbacks. The freshman John Bond of the Bulldogs against John Forcade, the experienced rebel leader who was the total offense champ in the SEC. That being the case, it was no contest. The statistics tell the story. Bond ran for 163 yards, passed for 151, and was named Sports Illustrated's Offensive Player of the Week. Borcade lost yardage rushing and hit only 15 of 32 passes for 129 yards, but most importantly, four of Borcade's passes were intercepted by the alert Mississippi State Bulldogs. It was an historic game. 62,520 fans, the most ever to see a sporting event in the state, piled into the Mississippi Memorial Stadium for the contest. State took an early lead and led 13 to seven going into the fourth quarter before the Rebels scored and went in front 14 to 13. That lead was to last less than 60 seconds. State on their next possession simply went 64 yards in only three plays to put the game winning points on the scoreboard. The first play lost a yard, but then Glenn Young, who had been a hero the week before, caught a short pass from John Bond and turned it into a big gainer, streaking down to the Ole Miss 10-yard line. From there, Bond pitched to Haddix, who pulled over the Rebels for the score. Ole Miss tried to come back on their aerial game, but couldn't move past midfield as the Bulldog pass rush and pass defense held them at bay. The game ended with a 19-14 Bulldog victory, with Bulldog freshman Billy Jackson sacking Forcade for a huge loss on the final play of the game. Statistically, the game had been much more one-sided than the score. State piled up 473 yards total offense to 304 for the Rebels. Donald Ray King got 100 yards, mostly right up the heart of the Ole Miss defense. <laughs>